Hi there, this is Damon and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms XF! Last time we rescued the Elder's Daughter, and I also did a couple things since last time. One thing is I lowered the, uh, the music volume so that hopefully, um, it'll be better. Um, just as far as... no. <laughs> just as far as, um, you know, the balance between my voice and the, and the game's voice. And that were the game's music. And also, I hired uh, three more drifters, one named after my dog, Dixie, and uh, one named after a commenter, and another commenter uh, who've been commenting lately on my Trails in the Sky um, Let's Play. But anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, talk to these people, see what they have to say. Even a wimp like me summoned enough bravery to get my town back. I surprise even myself back there. Speaking of which, do you know about Richala Rose? It's a town on a plateau up north, and they're waging a fierce war with the Martial Guard right now. When I first heard about them, I couldn't believe how foolish it all sounded. By now, I think I understand how they feel. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, did you hear? The new Martial Guard boss they hired about a month ago. He's not a nobleman at all. He's an experienced drifter, they say. I guess it takes a drifter to know how to deal with drifters, huh? The new boss is supposed to be pretty talented, to the point where some kids are inspired by him to join the Guard. He's got that wild look, they say. Really? Well, we can talk to the Forger and open up Synthesis! Yeah. So basically, what you can do here is create enhanced weapons and armor, as well as wholly new items, but you do have to pay a fee uh, in order to do it. It's like the likes... It's like the life's finally back into Hanagar, in this workshop, too. Thanks very much. Here's some helpful information for you. The more item scopes you collect, the more types of items you'll be able to synthesize. There's a total of 12 item scopes in existence, apparently. Yeah, and we got one last time, so awesome. So let's look at synthesis. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be mostly wanting to do is synthesize spell books, mostly these Elder Records right here. Uh, the reason why I want the Elder Records is because they increase your magic more than just uh, the secret signs. Those increase aim, and these increase attack, the mystic wards. But this Elder Record right here, not only that does it increase magic, but it only costs five Tatzel Worm Horns and three Calicos Claws, whereas this one costs seven horns and five claws, and this one also seven horns and five claws. So I want this one which is cheaper. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to search. And uh, I'll get to searching in just a minute, but let's go ahead and talk to these people some more. So yeah, we have the ore ingredients, the plant ingredients, and the monster ingredients. And all of them are hard to find unless you ask a drifter for some help. The ingredients ranked on an eighth level scare bait based on quality, too. The 8th rank ingredient is a precious thing indeed, and the weapons and armor you can make from it will be just as powerful as you'd expect. Awesome! In the long run, it's cheaper to avoid buying new weapons and armor in shops. Run some sim synthesis on your old stuff, and you'll get the same thing for less. Even when you factor the cost of searching for ingredients into the equation, it's still a bargain. So don't go on a shopping spree every time you find a store with new stuff. Don't get the wrong idea here. I'm not trying to put myself on top of anyone or anything. If you don't believe me, go check out the prices at the shop for yourself, and then come back here and compare it with the cost of synthesis. Most synthesis components are found via searching. You'll need to have a higher drifter in your party if you want to conduct searches. It might be a good idea to have several drift drifters on hand for search purposes, not just for battle. Besides, if all you need is explorers, you can hire a low-level drifter for jump change. Okay, we can do that. And, uh, talk to you, Funk. So, there's a huge battle in Hanagar over the fate of the town. Too bad I missed out on it. Myself, I just arrived in town after going up the southeastern road. On my way here, I saw a group of guardsmen gathering together on the side of the road. Something about destroying the rebel army and all. They looked like they were pretty serious. I bet it'll be hell of a squadron when they're done. Huh, really? Wow, what a fierce battle we had against the guard. You should have seen us miners. We didn't give them a single inch. It's really true, isn't it? Prepare yourself for anything and miracles really can happen. We'll never let the guard seize the town again. Okay, well, sounds like a plan to me. Thank you so much, Lady Alexia. The forge is now out of the guard's hands, and I hope it can be of some aid to your battle. Awesome. I don't know how to thank you enough. The Elder and his granddaughter are overjoyed, and I don't think I've ever been this happy before. And talk to Toku finally. Thank you, Princess. My grandfather gave me this charm, but you can have it instead. Grawsome! We get the Dragon Fossil. That is an ore synthesis item, and it's actually an 8th level item, so that would be really nice for later on synthesis. Well, in theory it's a straight shot from here to the capital, but, yeah, from what we've been hearing lately, it sounds like a large force of martial guardsmen is gathering along the road to the southwest. Assembling a large enough force to overwhelm your foes without having to outwit or outmaneuver them is a long-time honored military tactic. Blunt weapons can be the hardest ones to parry. 
But I bet Miss Wordsworth knows a way, don't you, Teach? Of course I do, Levin. It doesn't matter how much military force our enemies assemble, we've no reason to fear. I knew you'd come up with something, Miss Wordsworth. You never let us down. I love it when you get that girlish gleam in your eyes. Don't stop now, Levin. I wish to hear more about how youthful and vibrant I look. There's no need to temper your praise. I won't be embarrassed. Well, uh, that can wait. You said you knew a way to deal with the Marshal Guard. How can we make it through the army of that size? Oh, it's quite simple. We won't deal with them at all. Huh? In other words, the plan is not to fight the Marshal Guard at all. We'll take a detour. Chevrolet Blanc will circle all the way around the Marshal Guard forces and emerge behind them. I see. If we launch a raid on their position from behind, we can counter their numerical advantage with the element of surprise. No, we won't engage them at all. At no point will we do battle with the Marshal Guard army to the southeast. Um, maybe we should go through this one more time? I don't think that we understand what you're saying. How do you not get it? We're not fighting! You're an idiot! <sighs> My thoughts exactly, Lepretia. <laughs> I get it. What's the expression? To deceive your foes, you must first deceive your friends? No. It's just that it's a bother to explain. Good grief. Don't tell me you're just going to leave us guessing. That had been my intention, but since it seems an explanation is required, I suppose I shall have to do my best. The Martial Guard force may seem insurmountable at first glance, but they are in fact committing a strategic error. The error is sending out a large force to confront us. They've undoubtedly boosted their numbers in order to assure victory, but those very numbers make their movements obvious to all, and just as we've learned of them here. That makes our plans easy to anticipate. Just as we're doing here, right? Another problem is that by gathering our forces in a single area, their ability to defend their other positions has been diluted. As long as we don't get over-eager and launch straightforward frontal attacks, we alone should be able to take some of their former positions now. Wow! When you say it like that, it almost feels like we really can do it. So as I said earlier, we should continue on the capital, but by taking a little detour. Earlier, we'd heard talk that in Rich Hall arose people had united to resist the Martial Guard. Perhaps we should head that way and help them out. That would put us in a good position to circle around the army and reach the capital. I can't believe how deeply you've planned this. Our enemy is an army. Whether they confront us or not, each passing day brings fatigue to the soldiers and depletes their funds and resources. We can erode their strength without ever confronting them directly. Wow! When you put it like that, I almost feel sorry for them. This is how small armies battle against larger ones. In other words, we're guerrillas, and as a result, we must resort to using guerrilla tactics. If you study history, you can learn all sorts of fascinating things. Now, we're going to give a history lesson to the men and women of the Martial Guard. I'd forgotten that the government had branded you a terrorist. Suddenly, it's all flooding back. Let us set forth on a detour route immediately. Speed and footwork are the mightiest weapons a smaller force can wield. Okay, well, there's a plan. So, we have, uh, we have to go to Rainy Pass, but before we do that, we are going to search for some ingredients. So, we're going to dispatch our, uh, our people over to Creedmoor Prison. Yes. And I want to search, um, it really doesn't matter who you send. Just send a bunch of your, um, your higher drifters. So, send them over there. And it says, if you look at their status, they have two time units left. And I'm going to go ahead and pay to skip those time units. Get out of here, and they return. Easy enough. Now I have 19 horns and three claws, and I need a total of nine claws because I want to get three of those um, Elder Records plus one. No, I didn't want to go there. Three of those Elder Records plus one. So let's dispatch another unit to create more prison, do the same thing over and over and over again, because you can get more than just um, more than just those particular items. Hopefully, it'll show it this time. Ugh! Well, I didn't get any of those claws, but I got some Gela cards. You can get Gela cards and Lucky cards from there as well, which is really nice for selling and uh, for using, but eventually. Anyway, I'm going to do this off screen until I get nine of those claws. Sweet! I finally got nine claws. Awesome! Actually, I think I got a little bit more than nine claws, so let's head on back to Hanagar. I don't know why I went over to uh, that place anyway, and go to the synthesis shop. Talk to the forger and synthesize, and I want to get uh, the spell books. So I wanted this one because it was the cheapest one. Go ahead and grab... Uh-oh. Oh, I know why, because I have one equipped it. So 
I need to disequip uh, one of those Elder Records that is already on somebody. Yeah, so we'll just go ahead and equip her with something else. A spell book is fine. Whatever. It really doesn't matter. And uh, let's see. Uh, synthesis Shop, Forger, Synthesize, Spell Books, all the way down here. Do one more. There you go. Awesome. Now I have three Elder Records. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and synthesize some other stuff. You can synthesize... Um, one thing that I would think would be um, useful would be pole arms for the Halbergier class because that ignores hard. Um, you need iron ore and elysium for those, for the ones that you want to go for, which would be this one because this one actually raises your attack power more than the other ones. And in order to receive those items, you need to search Rusty Docks and Promise Hill. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but I will do it later. But anyway, um, let's head on into Rainy Pass. Let's do this. Let's leave town and go. Yeah, and all that other searching. If I do any more searching or synthesizing, I'm going to do it off screen. I'm not going to worry about it on screen. Forced by inclement weather to postpone their crossing on the mountain pass, Chevrolet Blanc makes camp in a nearby cave. That's a good point. Before we hike the ridge, we should... Your Highness, come quick! Man, that guy is always hanging around the princess. What's the situation? I came here to talk to the princess. I don't report to you. Levin! I hope you don't mind me asking, your highness. But who the hell is that guy? Every time I see you, he's lurking nearby. I can't help worrying about you, your highness. We don't even know for sure who he is. Mind your tone, Levin. Phileas is a loyal companion who has protected me for a long time. No, he's even more than that. Phileas is... My mother and I lived on the open road of an endless journey for as long as I can remember. Mother never stopped chasing her dream of transforming Philgaia from a war-torn wasteland to a land of abundance. It was five years ago that we first met him. I found him badly wounded and collapsed from exhaustion, but still gripping Iskender Bay tightly. I did everything that I could to save him. Looking back on it now, I wasn't doing anything more than playing doctor, but I put my whole heart into it. It was Mother's skillful treatments that gradually restored his health, and eventually he recovered enough to speak. He said that his name was Phileas, but that he had no last name. It was almost like he didn't even understand the concept of having a last name. Even when well enough to speak, he was a quiet man, and he wouldn't tell us where he was from or where he was going. Once he was fully healed, Phileas joined us on our journey and helped protect Mother and I from the many hazards of the road. Where at first I saw only a quiet man, I eventually came to see a gentle one instead. Since Phileas had no last name, Mother gave him the one we both share, Arwen. Melissa Arwen, Clarissa Arwen, and now Phileas Arwen. Okay, I have to stop right here. She just told him her name, Clarissa Arwen, but she's supposed to be Princess Alexia. And she's basically telling him that she's not the princess, but Levin's so freaking dumb, he doesn't realize it, and he still keeps on going, saying that she's the princess. That's just my two cents. Mother smiled as she said it. We're now a family of three. Even though Phileas was the last to join us, he felt like an older brother to me. For some reason, that disparity really struck a chord with me, and I started laughing so hard I fell over. Phileas laughed too. It was the first time I had ever seen him laugh, and I remember it clearly, even now. Though our time as a family of three was short, the bonds we shared affected me deeply. Phileas is family. But not just him, you and Labyrinthia and everyone else who helps us. I think of everyone who shares the goal of liberating Elysius as family. I understand. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I don't know what got into me. I guess I just wasn't thinking. I already know how kind and considerate you are. It's fine, Levin. Don't worry about it. More importantly, what about your report? Oh, I completely forgot. Well, the thing is... Hmm? Well, it's just... I was going to report that I had completed my turn on watch. 
Everything looked normal on the pass, but with the bad visibility, I couldn't see much of the woods on the other side. I'm worried that our enemies might be planning an ambush. Maybe we should send someone to check it out. Of course, I'd be willing to do it, but... I'm sure you're tired from having completed your watch. I'll scout the woods. That makes sense. Be careful, Phileas. The rain is getting heavier. I wonder if a storm is gathering. Hmm? What's wrong, Levin? You've seemed antsy ever since Phileas went on watch. No, it's nothing. Phileas should be back soon. I hope nothing happens before the rain lets up, but let's get ourselves ready just in case. Yeah, I guess you're right, but... Your Highness, the Marshal Guard have been spotted near the pass. <gasps> but Levin just got back from patrolling the pass. Please wait here, Your Highness. There's probably just a few of them. I'll take them on myself. You're going to get yourself killed, Levin. I'll show them that Phileas isn't the only one who can be a hero. What are you thinking, Levin? Your Highness, it isn't safe here. Please wait in the cave. But you can't do this by yourself. You must find a place to hide, Your Highness. The enemy is coming this way. What? That can't be... Rupert! Your Highness, you know Rupert too? I can't believe the commander of the Marshal Guard would come here personally. Rupert's the leader of the Marshal Guard? So she knows him. If I can take out Rupert, the princess will see me as a hero. Here it comes! Levin, no! Stop! Huh? What do you want, kid? What? Is that all you got, boy? That was quick. At your age, I'd expect a bit more effort. Uh, I'm not a boy. I have a name. Only real men have names on the battlefield. Now beat it, kid. That's it, huh? Over so soon? Well then... So long, boy. I haven't got time for puppies nipping at my shoes. I got a job to... Levin! What's this? The kid's got a little friend. Huh. huh. That weird weapon... <laughs> hey, what the hell kind of joke? A uh, princess. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm sure. I used to be stationed in the castle. I would never forget that face. I love how his name is Castle Rat. Yeah. <laughs> that is, without a doubt, Her Highness Alexia, Princess Royal of the Kingdom of Elysius. Forgive my tardiness, Your Highness. I know we weren't prepared for battle, but we can't afford to run away now. Okay, so, let's look at this map. Let's look at what we're fighting. Lots of guys here. Okay. It looks like Rupert's sights are set squarely on the princess. This is an extremely dangerous situation, no doubt about that. Still, it means that we're fully aware of his goal, and that allows us to prepare for him well in advance. Let's use the princess to bait and trap him for him. We'll need the right information and the right classes for the job. While the princess is luring Rupert in, the others will engage the rest of the units. Cut down their ranks first. We'll handle the stronger ones later. And we're going to fight them next time. And let's play Wild Arms XF. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.